Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So, uh, right now this is getting recorded in the evening of Thursday the 5th, and this will be uploaded on the 6th of Friday. And this will be a very short, quick update video. Um, it's actually just me demonstrating or showing you what the models are showing uh, for the end of September. <clears throat> some uh, some rather interesting interesting things, but it will rather be a quick video, probably less than uh, five minutes. So uh, I wanted to show you. I was looking at the model run of the 18Z Thursday, September 5th, and uh, we were noticing uh, a. I noticed a pretty uh, really interesting feature. Look at see right there, bringing support supposedly according to the GFS model. <clears throat> bringing down a possibly you no know, snow event into the extreme northern portions of Minnesota and again the confidence and probability of this occurring are very low at this very uh, day probably less than 10% the reason I'm showing you this is because <clears throat> the European is also kind of getting onto something sort of like this the GFS is also I mean clearly you could see by this model run showing some chilly temperatures uh, bringing you know first frost into northern Illinois by September 20th which is a month ahead schedule which I I don't think will happen but this is just kind of the trend that the models are already gearing up towards this gearing up towards a rather chilly <clears throat> chilly uh, fall season and <clears throat> even though you know it's very far out it's most likely not gonna happen last year at this time of the year we did not have such uh, features because I know I would have made a video on it <clears throat> I would have definitely uh, shown this to you and you know again probably won't happen a hundred percent I mean probably won't happen even you know not even close to it being uh, likely it's just that uh, this is kind of I think what will be a reoccurring pattern throughout winter that um, you know these blasts will get uh, forecasted from a long distance like this one is and then possibly getting um, you know, maybe not in the exact day. This one says Saturday, September, around that weekend time frame. I, you know, I I think that there will be those some big cool down around that time because that's usually what happens. Usually the models show something like this. Then they don't show it for quite a while, but then they end up showing something yet again around the same time frame, just not as strong and not as absurd. So this is something that we, you know... Uh, I have to keep monitoring, cap have to keep watching. I mean, I mean, if I were to look, uh, show you the two meter temperature shaded, okay, you could see that <clears throat> some of the frost again would be getting down into Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, which <clears throat> would be way ahead of schedule. Look at that. The, the day, let me go back to the United States region, continental United States. The day would be at 50, uh, 54 degrees, which <clears throat> is way too chilly for September. You know, September 21st, sometimes, <clears throat> I guarantee you there's been days where it's been recorded 90s here across Chicago, which, again, I don't think this will occur. And you may be wondering, why am I showing you this video? I think that uh, this is still, uh, you know, indicating towards a sign of a reoccurring possible pattern through winter. So that is, uh, you know, I wanted to point this out. And you can see the European, it doesn't go out as far as the 240, so I, or as 384 as far as the GFS. It only goes out to 240, but it still shows <clears throat> some signs of, you can see, uh, of a rather, you know, a ridge right there, a little warmer pattern, but then possibly a little bit of cooler. doesn't show all throughout a a cold or a warm regime you know and uh, let's go to the three to four week outlook this is the climate prediction center three to four week outlook um, actually no I wanted to go to the 30 day, day outlook and you can see they're showing you know around that same area uh, around that same uh, region of the United States some below average temperatures for the month of September this is valid for September 2019 and that's why I think and if we saw my other videos I also agree with this and I do think that many of these will be uh, many of these blasts will come to you know tr fruition and actually Actually occur uh, you know it will it bring frost into the United States I don't know and I don't think it will it's very far out this is basically just extreme speculation it's just I wanted to share it with you since I, I like sharing everything I notice on this channel with you so um, you know uh, I just I hope you appreciate the fact that I'm showing you this if you were to look at the 500 middle bar geo potential height you could see I mean look at that that is just like a basically a polar vortex in the in the fall if this were to occur <clears throat> and I don't know if it will occur prob prob most likely you know not to this extent but again I do think that it could occur uh, in a certain fashion similar to this so consider liking this video guys consider subscribing to this channel I'll catch you all guys in the next episode see ya bye